I'm back editing it. I'm back editing it with another video. In today's video, we are going to be working with hair and beauty. And they sent me a closure pre-colored unit. And I've always wanted to try. And then we got the adjustable we got the adjustable straps in the back with the comb. This is what the inside of the cap looks like. I've always wanted to try one of these colored units with a bang. So let's get into it. The wig does not come pre-bleached or pre-plucked, but we do have really, really, really small knots in the front. Let me try to show you. I'm probably doing a terrible job at showing you that. Actually, I'm gonna try her on so you can see. The knots are very, very tiny, which is perfect because that's not something you can fix. Once you get the wig and you got like big knots, it's literally nothing you can do about it. But it's okay that it's not pre-bleached or pre-plucked because we're doing a bang anyway, so that does not even matter. So let me cut off this lace. This is how the wig looks. It actually has a part already in there, like such. It doesn't look that bad for it to just be like fresh out the box. So what we're gonna do is we're going to, when I'm doing my bangs, I don't like them super thick. So I like to part like a mini triangle. I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. A mini triangle piece of hair out. So like that. You see how it's a triangle? And to mold it to the front, I'm gonna spray a little bit of water. Not too, too, too wet, cause we don't feel like waiting for it to dry. And you can just comb it and mold it just like that. So this is about as much hair as I like to part out because I don't like, again, I don't like my bangs super thick. And now we can just start slowly, but surely, slowly but surely cutting these bangs, sis. Now that we got the bangs, they look real thin right now, but that's because they're still wet. But now that we got the bangs, I'm going to just spray down this top part and mold the top part because we have some little flyaways in the top. And just, I am doing a glueless wig install. So that's why you don't see any got to be. But obviously you could still do, um, you could still glue her down and do it like a full blown install if you'd like. But girl, you know me, I change my hair a lot. So let me dry her down. Now we're at this step, it's time to straighten the entire wig. I'm gonna start off with the bangs. I always think I look so much like my mom when I have bangs. This hair is actually is really, really, really soft for it to have been processed, you know, since it is colored hair. And a lot of the times it's really hard 
to not over bleach or over process hair when you are taking it from one color to the next. So this company did a really good job with keeping it even and keeping the color and making sure like the blondes and stuff isn't too like orange, you know what I'm saying? And that's everything on this wig if you wanted to pick this wig up yourself everything on her is going to be in the description box down below thank you so much heron beauty for working with me and i'll see you guys in my next one bye